Lena started to work for a company called Transmeta. Not a Linux company, but a mysterious business that didn't want to tell for many years what it was up to. And paradoxically, a closed source code company. The deal was that Linus could still concentrate on developing Linux. I have been forced into trying to be a kind of poster boy for Linux. Uh, and, and actually the whole open source community at large, even though I wasn't even the person who started open source. There's no single person that represents the whole story and there's no single starting point. I mean, it's like the bamboo. You don't know where it starts, where it ends. I don't think that this, this movement is actually new at all. Um, it's been around for a long time. Uh, you know, even in the 70s, you know, the whole attitude that we had around Unix, even though technically it wasn't, it wasn't open source, it wasn't free, um, because you did need to go and get this license from AT&T, but you know, since that was not an issue generally, you could share things freely. When you run a program, typically you run the executable form, which is a series of numbers. Now, nobody can make any sense of those numbers. Only a computer can understand them. That's what they're for. Those numbers are the way of, are the form of a program that the computer itself can understand. But for humans to figure out what they mean is very hard. When we write software, we write it as source code. Source code looks sort of like algebra. That's the form that you can understand if you're a programmer. To help you figure out, there are usually lots and lots of comments, which are explanations that are put into the source code to help other people figure out why the program is written the way it is. If you get just the executables, which is what Microsoft will probably give you, even if you had the freedom to make changes, you could never figure out what changes to make. It's too hard. For the freedom to change the software to be practical and usable, you've got to have the source code. If you really look at the project, um, if you really look at, the, as I said, Linus developed the kernel, but the whole system is really not. I think that the most interesting part here is really Richard Stallman began the movement. Have you heard of Richard Stallman? He wanted everyone to have the rights to use the software, to copy the software without breaking any laws, to make changes, distribute them, give, enhance it, right? He wanted to give people rights. When he decided to overthrow corrupt American capitalism in the computer industry, he quit his job and he continued coding. I tend to think of things in terms of justice, freedom, and ethics. I announced the idea in November 83, and it, but it was in January 84 that I quit my job at MIT to start developing a free operating system to which I gave the name GNU. This is GNU, this is GPL, the GNU General Public License. And of course, the kernel is under GPL. Free software, I should explain, refers to freedom, not price. It's unfortunate that the word free in English is ambiguous. It has a number of different meanings. One of them means zero price, but another meaning is that you have freedom. So think of free speech, not free beer. There is a similarity between the folk process where a poem or a song or a story can get refined and reshaped by one teller or singer after another 
and the way free software gets improved. You often find cases where a free program is being developed now by a group of people who include none of the original developers. In 1991, we had almost finished the GNU system. Our goal was to make an operating system like Unix, but entirely free software. This complete operating system required many different components. By 1991, we had almost all of those components. Many of them we had written, and many others we had found somebody else had written it for his own purposes, but it did the job and so we pressed it into service as a part of GNU. One major component was still missing, the component called the kernel. So it was very useful that Linus Torvalds wrote a kernel. At that point, combining his kernel, Linux, with the larger GNU system produced a complete runnable system that you could actually put onto your PC and run. So once Linux was developed, the GNU system, in effect, was completed, and it began to catch on in popularity. But at the same time, an unfortunate thing happened. The people who were using the GNU system didn't realize it was the GNU system. So they began calling the whole combination Linux. And that confusion spread, and as a result, it's very hard for us in the GNU project to call the user's attention to the ethical and political issues. Quarters can get piles of money, that is true. Hackers, that is true. But they cannot help their neighbors, that's not good. Hackers, that's not most computer science in the USA comes traditionally from military background and defense spending. Perhaps it isn't any more quirky that nowadays free software movement finds room both for Richard Stallman and libertarian ideals. Many saw free software also as a new way of making money and needed a less radical concept. Enter open source. Uh, we looked at the history of advocacy in uh, what at the time was, st was still mostly called the free software movement, and we concluded that it hadn't worked. That, in fact, the rhetoric and the tactics used by Richard Stallman and the Free Software Foundation had probably left us worse off than we were when we started. The term open source doesn't really imply a lot of political mm. issues like it used to the, the, the free software term still does. There is now a second movement, the open source movement, where they consider only the practical benefits and they refuse, and I mean that literally, they carefully avoid the issues of principle, freedom, ethics, and making a good society for people to live in. That kind of language is implicitly threatening to people whose day-to-day -day concerns are how do I increase my shareholder value? You know, how do I keep control of my business? How do I address my, 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 my actual uh, down-to-earth problems? People like that, you know,